Magandang oras na naman sa inyong lahat mga kaibigan. Ang ating topic ngayon ay tungkol sa pinakabagong survey na inilabas ng Okta Research. Ito ay tungkol sa trust and performance ratings ng presidente at vice presidente. Sa nasabing survey, parihong bumaba ang trust at performance ratings ni na President Bongbong Marcos at Vice President Sara Duterte. Lumalabas sa survey na 69% na adult Filipinos ang nagtitiwala kay President Bongbong Marcos. Mas mababa ng 2% sa kanyang rating noong second quarter ng 2024. Samantala, si Vice President Sara Duterte naman ay bumaba ng kanyang trust rating mula 65, ito ay bumaba sa 59%. Sa performance rating naman, 66% ang lumalabas na nasisiyahan kay President Bongbong Marcos habang 12% ang hindi nasisiyahan at 23% naman ang undecided. Kumpara kay Vice President Sara Duterte, ang kanyang performance rating ay 52%. Sa nakarang survey, ang kanyang performance rating ay 60%. Nangangulugan na 8% ang nabawas sa kanyang performance rating sa pinakabagong survey ng Okta Research. Isinagawa ang survey sa pamamagitan ng face-to-face sa 1,200 respondents sa buong bansa na mayroong plus minus 3% margin of error. Narito ang panayam ng story cone ng 1PH kay Professor Ranjit Rai, President ng Okta Research. Uh, we wanted to emphasize a significant drop in trust for VP Duterte at 6 percentage points and a performance drop of 8 percentage points. Now, in the past, uh, there were times that yeah, her numbers would drop uh, one quarter and go up, mm-hmm. similar to that of the president, which, by the way, has uh, a, a, a significant drop also when you look at the long view. No? I um, love you. Mm-hmm. But now, we have two uh, quarters uh, where we have a significant drop uh, in the trust and approval ratings of the vice president. So this is a, as we look at the numbers, we always emphasize the trend. The and trend. the trend is downward. So Pero, this is what y- uh, y- yeah, Prof, we anong, want to emphasize that point. Anong definition nyo ng trend? When is it oh, a trend? Amin, ano, two, two quarters sa amin. Uh, two quarters is a trend. Two quarters. Pero walang, but, uh, walang percentage uh, points. Uh, 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 this is almost three quarters. Eh. Yeah. Uh, Uh, so, when it comes to the performance. Uh, pero uh, ang ibig sabihin ba ng trend ay 6% every quarter, 5%, 2%. So what entails a trend? It should be uh, significant to the margin of error. So in this case, uh, for the last two quarters, it's been more than 3 percentage point drops. So 5 percentage point is considered significant sa uh, Okta given the mm-hmm. 1,200 sample size. So this is how we're uh, this is where we're coming from when we say there is a significant line. Right. And for the first time in almost uh, since the inception of the administration, the president has higher trust and approval ratings than the vice president. That's as far as mm-hmm. is concerned. So this is the first time actually in in the two quarters of uh, where the president has a higher trust and uh, performance and rating. We have to emphasize that uh, mm. the two leaders, the president and the vice president, still have majority yes. trust. Yes, bro. And that's what we want to emphasize. Mm. Yes, bro. In this quarter, the vice president uh, went down. Um, and all of them had some decline. Yeah. But so what yes. was that the president, you know, this, it's basically unchanged because it's less than mm. the margin of error. But in Okta, mm. we to emphasize that, you know, we want to show that there is some movement some erosion. So that's why we reported it that way. But technically speaking, statistically speaking, the president's numbers were virtually unchanged. Mga kaibigan, si Professor Ranji Trai. Samantala, may mga nagsasabi na hintayin nila ang survey na ilalabas ng SWS o Social Weather Stations at Pulse Asia. Ayon sa kanila, mas mapagkakatiwalaan ang resulta ng survey ng SWS at Pulse Asia. Asia. 
Isa na rito si Badong Aratiles, isang vlogger na nagsasabing siya ay may pinapanigan. Siya ay pumapanig sa mga Duterte. Narito ang pahayag ni Badong Aratiles. No, ganito ha. Ang sinasabi ko po pa ulit-ulit, dalawa po yung may track record. Alam niyo yung ibig ko sabihin? Sila sa lahat ng sarbi company ngayon, ang pinaka dapat pagtiwalaan yung SWS tsaka Pulse Asia. Dahil po sa track record nila. Hindi niyo po pwedeng sabihin na fake yung isang sarbi, lalo na pinapakita nila yung paraan nila ng ginagawa. Pero marami pong sarbi hindi na po nag exist kasi na-realize ng tao, etong sarbi company na to, bakit pabor lang ng pabor dito sa isang kandidato? Inyong napakinggan si Badong Aratiles. Mga kaibigan, Maglalabas din kaya ang sariling survey ng SWS at Pulse Asia. Kung maglalabas sila ng kanilang sariling survey, meron kayang pagkakaiba sa resulta ng survey kung ikumpara sa resulta ng survey ng Okta Research. Ano sa palagay ninyo? Please send your comment. Mga kaibigan, maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Huwag niyong kalilimutan na mag-subscribe sa ating channel. Kung hindi pa kayo subscriber, please like, comment, and share. Pakiclick na rin ang notification bell para hindi nyo makaligtan ng mga bago at susunod nating video. Maraming salamat. Bye-bye!